Welcome back to Discovery Lab Online. On September 22nd, 2020, we are celebrating the September equinox. If you live in the Northern Hemisphere, you probably know this day as the autumnal equinox, or more simply, the first day of fall. The equinox does not occur on the same day every year, but it falls between September 21st and September 24th. The word equinox comes from the Latin words equi, meaning equal, and nox, meaning night. On the day of the equinox, day and night are nearly the same length across the world. After the September equinox, days will continue to get shorter in the Northern Hemisphere until the winter solstice on December 21st. This celestial event has been celebrated across the world for centuries in a ton of different ways. In the Northern Hemisphere, the September equinox marks the beginning of the fall harvest, and many harvest celebrations coincide with the equinox. We're going to go over a few of those today, and the first up is Japan. In Japan, Autumnal Equinox Day is a public holiday. People celebrate by reconnecting with their families, paying respects to their ancestors, visiting shrines and temples, and also eating snacks called bodomochi, which is sweet rice in azuki paste. Over in China and Vietnam, the autumnal equinox lines up with the moon festival or mid-autumn festival. This festival is held on the full moon closest to the autumnal equinox, which is often known as the harvest moon. To celebrate, they light lanterns, visit with friends and family, and gaze at the moon together. They also often eat these round pastries called moon cakes that are made up of red bean or lotus paste. In England at Stonehenge, Neo-Druids, Wiccans, and other modern pagans celebrate the autumnal equinox with a celebration called Harvest Home or Mabon. They celebrate early in the morning at Stonehenge to watch the sunrise and then give thanks to the earth. Next up is North America at Chichen Itza. Chichen Itza is a pre-Columbian Mayan city in Mexico. People gather around the Temple of El Cucalcan during the spring and autumnal equinox. Around the time of the equinox, a really cool effect can be seen on the temple. The northwest corner of the pyramid casts a series of triangular shadows that make it appear as though a serpent is crawling up the wall. Thousands of tourists from around the world travel far distances to see the serpentine effect during the equinox. Going north, here in the U.S., we also celebrate the equinox. At the mound builder site Cahokia, the Illinois Historic Preservation Division holds solstice and equinox celebrations around the reconstructed wood hinges. These wood hinges were originally believed to have been built as a type of solar calendar. Outside of Cahokia, many Americans celebrate the beginning of fall with harvest festivals, and these are usually celebrated any time between the autumnal equinox and November. You may have been to a few yourself. People generally pick pumpkins, drink cider, and go through corn mazes, all centering around the celebration of the fall harvest. But in Texas, most harvest festivals don't generally begin until at least mid-October. And it seems that historically, Texans usually celebrate the September equinox by complaining that it's just too dang hot outside still. This autumnal equinox, you can celebrate by researching other equinox celebrations, uh, maybe trying out a few of these traditions for yourself, or even inventing your own traditions. If you do celebrate, please let us know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching Discovery Lab Online. If you have any suggestions for future videos, let us know by sending them to questions at fwmsh.org. Happy equinox!